Hello, music fans. Welcome to Lone Star Roads, brought to you by the 2014 Motor Trend Truck of the Year, the Ram 1500. My name is Justin Frizzell. So glad you back out in front of your TV today, and thanks to everybody that's here this afternoon taking in the show. We are certainly glad to see everybody, and we are ready to get started. My buddy Steve Helms is here today, and I'm about ready to tell you about, let's see, rivers, livers, and givers, right now. Welcome to Lone Star Roads. All right, so rivers, livers, and givers. Let's start with uh, Mark McKinney. Now, we told you uh, a couple weeks ago that Roger Crager set the world record when it comes to, to floating in the river. And congratulations again to Roger Crager. Now, Mark McKinney uh, may try it out on his own. He's got his fourth annual river float trip coming up. That starts uh, August 23rd. And uh, the music will start at 5 p.m., and the float will start earlier in the day, and it all takes place at the River Road Ice House. You can go to markmckinney.com for all the details. Again, that's August 23rd, River Road Ice House, down there in the Hill Country. Uh, now, up to the uh, northwest of us, the Broad Brothers Family Reunion is going on right now in Chalice, Idaho. And then when that ends, let's see, Reckless Kelly, Mickey and the Motor Cars, and the Departed are going to take off on a West Coast swing. That'll start, I think that's uh, August 13th in Seattle, Washington, and then it'll swing down through California and then kind of curve back in towards Santa Fe, New Mexico, 10-day run. And they're calling this tour the Livers of Steel Tour. And I'll let you figure out for yourself what you think that means. But if anybody can pull it off, I know those uh, three guys can. So you can follow them on Facebook. Just uh, search out Livers of Steel Tour. And then there's the Givers. And that involves our buddy Jack Ingram, Stoney LaRue, and Mike and the Moon Pies. They're all going to play a show or, and be part of a lineup that comes up September 6th, Panther Island Pavilion over in Fort Worth. It's called the Most Good Music Festival. And I believe that's exactly what you can go to dot com uh, to find out more about this show. But it's the Salvation Army's 125th year in Texas. And so this is kind of their celebration to kick their season of giving off at September 6th, Panther Island Pavilion, Jack Ingram, Stoney LaRue, Mike and the Moon Pies. Just a few of the uh, acts of the ga uh, acts that are on the, this show right here. And then while we're talking about Panther Island Pavilion, uh, my other home away from home, the Sound of Texas, 95.9 The Ranch FM, uh, we're holding our annual Ranch Bash. It's our 12-year anniversary, and it too will be at Panther Island Pavilion, and that takes place October 25th. More details on that show. Line up to be revealed as we get closer to that thing. 959theranch.com. So Wade Bowen, uh, you know, he's busy too. He's been out with Randy Rogers on his own little tour, the Hold My Beer and Watch This Tour, while touring with his own band. And uh, he's also working on a brand new record. And I had a chance to sit down with him uh, recently, caught him at a tour stop. And uh, here's what me and Wade had to uh, talk about. So you just told me a bunch of stuff. Yeah. A bunch of should really, a bunch of really <laughs> cool stuff. Should and, I say it? I forgot. We should have said it. Well, no, that's why I'm asking now that we're actually going here. How much of it are you ready to tell the rest of the world? Oh, I'm ready to tell whenever. Okay. I'm, start I'm with, excited. Start with the quads. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, quads has been a new band I'm a part of featuring uh, Sean McConnell, mm -hmm. Cody Kidd, and Randy Rogers and I. Uh, but seriously, we actually got in the studio together. Um, I invited those guys to come in and sing on a, a new track on my new record that I'm working on. Right. And Sean jokingly called us the quads, so we kind of stuck without the days joking around. But mm -hmm. um, it, it was a lot of fun having the four of us. You know, those are the song, um, when you hear it, it's a, it's a very fun, lighthearted song about um, being on the road and the life that we lead. And so right. I wanted not only people that I could get in the studio to, to be my really good friends, you know, that were my good friends, but also like, guys that uh, I know experience life on the road like that and mm -hmm. could, could actually put some meaning into the lyrics as well. So right. um, guys who live the life. Hold my beer and watch this. So you and your best friend, Randy Rogers, in the middle of another hold my beer and watch this tour. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's crazy to be working on two records at the same time, but mm -hmm. we've been recording a lot of these shows. We decided this year we're going to record and, and, and do uh, a live record um, with this, but also mix in some studio tracks as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm excited, you know, I've been listening to a lot of the stuff and it's, the, the deal with this record for me is not about 
uh, the hits, and it's, I don't really have any hits, but it, it's not about the, the popular songs, it's not about uh, what sounds the best. To me, this, this tour is about the stories, mm -hmm. it's about the banter, it's about making fun of each other, it's about the crowd, and it's about the atmosphere that's created when, when the two of us get on stage together as friends mm -hmm. and play the show. I don't know what it is about this, that we can't figure it out, Randy and I cannot figure it out, um, why it is, it, it, you know, it's, it's no offense to anybody else that we play shows with, but there's something really cool about the yeah. two of us on stage together and I I really think that's why this tour has been so successful over the years why mm -hmm. it's become such a uh, an image such a branding thing for us sure. because um, people really do come out have fun and enjoy being at this I, I, this is no different from we set a living room feel up which is you know it's been done a bunch sure. but it really is um, something that that I, I know that we would act like this by the way, Brett Michaels told me, he said, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're better for it. I have a recording of it. Don't worry about it. Bless your heart. <laughs> New record coming in October. Wade Sats, WadeBowen.com. Thank you, buddy. My pleasure, man. Thank you. You bet. All right, so two things. Uh, the first thing is, does anybody hear Wade Bowen say, I don't really have hits? Does anybody want to agree with that? Come on, waiter. And the second thing is, is that he and Randy on stage together it really is absolutely darling. I mean, you, you, if you see them, I mean, they're, they're just such the sweethearts together. So catch the hold of my beer and watch this tour. Thank you, Wade Bowen, wadebowen.com, randyrogersband.com to follow along with him. Stevehelmsband.com to follow along with this guy. Say hello to my good friend, Mr. Steve Helms. <laughs> Keeps spinning round, sun is up then down, things in life that never change. Like going to work each day, that stack of bills to pay, but I just close my eyes and smile, cause it's you and me, that's all it needs to be, yes it's you. Eternity, that's all it needs to be. Now we may pray for change, certain things to rearrange. Here's the one thing I can see the earth is spinning still, the sun's behind that hill, and you and I were meant to be. Cause it's you and me That's all it needs to be Yes, it's you and me Through eternity That's all it needs to be bills can't wait traffic jam I'm late but I just close my eyes and smile cause it's you and me that's all it needs to be yes it's you and me through eternity yes it's you That's all it needs to be. Oh. Boy, that's good. You know I love that one. Thank you, brother. Good to see you, man.
Ben, thank you, man. Enjoyed that. Rodney, as always, man. Good to see you, brother. All right, that's Steve Helms right there. Let's go hang out on the couch, visit a little bit. I know you got a lot of news to tell me. That's something. Steve Helms, when we come back, you're watching Lone Star Roads, brought to you by the Ram 1500. Y'all hang in there.